Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's the free website for all things Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else we find interesting. In this video, we're gonna have a look at Photoshop templates. Now, these were introduced in Photoshop 2015.5, but the chances are you haven't heard of them because they haven't really been that well advertised. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am in a document, and you can see at the top left-hand corner that I've called this one video.psd. Now this is to go on the front of a video series, but I want to change it often. Now the problem there is that every time I bring this in, I'm gonna to have to save it under a different name, and that's where templates really come in helpful. What I can do here is I can save this as a template. So I'm gonna to go to File and Save As. When I click Save As, I then get my Save As document, and you can see that I've got Video PSD at the top here. But what I can do now is I can actually add a T to that. So Photoshop PSD T, it's a Photoshop document template. And when I do that and save it, you can see now that it says PSD T at the top. I'm gonna to close that down. Then I'm gonna open that back up again. You can see that it's here in my workspace. So when I do that, you'll notice it's called Untitled One. So rather than opening up the template document, it's opened up all the assets and into a new document, which means I can work on this and I can save it under a different name. So maybe I want to say that this next one is gonna be a very easy Photoshop tutorial. So I'm gonna give it two pause of difficulty. Why not? I can rename it, of course, if I wanted to, do all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna bore you with that right now, but then I'm gonna save it. So file and save and then it's gonna ask me what I want to save it as. And you can see, untitled one, I can call this video one. Oop, video one, and save. Now video one is safe, I can close that down. And then I can go into my template again, and sure enough, I can carry on working. Now this is great if you like to show your photography in a certain way. Maybe you've got your favorite frame, or maybe you want to show it in situ. This is a great way to work. So there we go, Photoshop document templates. I'm Eric Reno. This has been a Photoshop tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.